Hi there, my name is Fabio and welcome back to Dreamet Mullet. Today I bring you these little robots called Mosers from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series. Usually in my videos I show you the entire process of creating a model, going through the process of printing it, modeling it and painting it. But today I decided to try something different and print a model that already exists. The user Random Mask reached out to me on the website Thingiverse where I post my creations and, um, and he gave me some compliments about my designs and I discovered that he makes some great designs as well. So I asked him if it was okay to create one of his models and show it in one of my videos. Thankfully he was okay with that idea and let me choose one of his models so I decided to create the Mausers. But as always as I do in my videos I will tell you how much filament I use and how much it costs to print a model like this one. So later if you want to create one of these models you have this information. I will leave Random Mask profile on Thingiverse in the description below, so be sure to check him out. So, let's peep this model. So, the printing process was uh, pretty easy. Uh, most of the parts didn't even need the supports. I only used the brim um, option and that was it. Uh, as you can see here, the, the pieces are well designed and fit uh, pretty easy on each other. Some prints didn't went right at the first time though, but I find a way to use them again and they are going to look awesome. As always, I apply a first layer of primer filler to cover up the layers that the print has, so later when I'm sanding these parts, these layers go away. Here you are seeing me using the airbrush to paint the model. I chose to paint them in only one color and that was the light grey. Um, I don't have much to add here, I only use the, the airbrush and I'm going to paint every part of him uh, with this color. I don't usually uh, apply a second layer uh, when I'm using the airbrush, but since this was a small project and um, it didn't require as much paint as the other projects that I did, I decided to apply a second layer to get the, the color more durable. Here I'm using a duct tape because the pieces that connect the body to the legs were a bit loose so I unroll them in a duct tape and to make them fit perfectly. With the connection pieces now attached to the main body I use a driller and created a hole on both sides of the body. Then I got some electrical wires that I had around the house and um, my idea here was to make these pieces look like they were broken and uh, attach these electrical wires to these holes that I created before which gives a more realistic look to these pieces uh, still making them look uh, cartoonish. I cut the wires with the same length so they weren't completely random um, and I did the same process again for the feet and for the legs. I created a hole, insert the wires and that was it. And this gave um, a more neat look to these uh, models and to these parts that otherwise these parts weren't used because they were considered failed prints. And that was it um, regarding the printing and the painting process. And there you go, this is a very well designed model, so be sure to add it to your collection. I'm really happy how this model turned out, and especially finding out a way to salvage each part of him that went wrong in the printing process. So let's get with the stats. This model is 10 cm high, weights around 40 grams, and it took overall 5 hours to print, if you don't count the parts that went wrong. The filament I used was the Sunlu PLA Plus that costs 20 euros for 1 kilo, so overall this model costs to print 40 cents. As always, I will leave the link to download this file on the description below, uh, along with the settings that I used to print this model, so be sure to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe and like this video to keep up to date with my models and support this channel. Thank you for watching, and remember, dream on!